Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through a whole bunch of different types of ways to trigger animations or really trigger anything but we're going to be using animations to show off how we're going to be triggering stuff and what we're going to do is we're going to go through a bunch of different examples and different techniques on how to trigger things and we're going to we're going to start with just a simple triggering animation which is going to be done with this yellow door over here and we're going to see what happens when we just use simple triggering to make things kind of kind of do what we want and we're going to see the benefits and, and drawbacks of using just simple animations with a trigger and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get a little deeper and we're going to start looking at how to get a record player to work with the state machine so it's it's a nice simple example where we're going to get something to play then loop then stop when we want it to and uh, be a little more a little more dynamic than what we could get from a simple animation um, and definitely easier to do uh, than than trying to make it work with a simple animation where we can all do it with a state machine and make it very straightforward and when we get into that we'll get into some of the nicer um, capabilities that the state machine offers in the ways that we can kind of send it signals and uh, have it send signals back. Um, at the same time what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually use one of those signals that it sends back to be able to control the light on the record player. Uh, then we're going to walk around here and we're going to come over here and we're going to start using a, a more dynamic trigger and uh, we're going to use a raycast to be able to see if we're looking at the at the switch and the switch has multiple toggles and we're going to have the animation here uh, move as well as start up a looping animation which we're going to drive the speed on over here so as we you know ramp up the speed on our on our switch over here we're going to have the the speed of the fans increase and be able to decrease them and, and control that speed really really nicely uh, of another animation as it loops so so yeah so you'll get a bunch of nice little triggering techniques uh, in in that example alone um, and then lastly what we're going to do is we're going to take what we've kind of learned and we're going to make a more complicated door uh, that will do the um, more complicated way of handling the door animation so that we always have the proper uh, playback so I'll, I'll give a quick run through and uh, just show you kind of what we're looking at here so if I hit start we're going to spawn in our world and if I hit F2, we'll be now a player. So we're going to learn how, you know, as you walk up to this door and make it open, it'll it'll work as you would expect. We're going to also trigger some audio, as you can hear. So, um, so yeah, but one of the drawbacks of this is we're going to have that animation problem, right? Where if I walk in really quick and walk away fast, it's going to kind of speed up and slow down. And that may be a desired result, but it may not be. So we'll we'll learn how to uh, how to make this function. And here's our record player. And if we look at the record player, this is also using a Raycast, by the way. We're going to be able to trigger audio and do a bunch of stuff with a Raycast trigger. And um, we'll be able to stop it. And notice that we don't lose the, the position of the record as we in, you know, start up and stop the record. So we always have a nice, consistent playback. Um, so you're going to learn how to do that. And if you notice, when I hit the stop on this, you will see that the, the light actually fades out as it, as it turns off. So we're actually triggering a, a little function that I wrote that is going to fade up and fade out the, the lights um, based on what we've done. Okay, then we're going to see again, here's our, our light switch. And as you can see, when I look at the light switch, it turns yellow. So it lets us know that it's clickable. And then when I click it, we're going to get our lights to kind of, I mean, our, our fans to kind of speed up. And when I click it again, it's going to speed up again. And we're doing some nice stuff with audio here too, using real-time parameter controls. So you're going to learn a little bit of that as well. And increase it again, it's going to speed up and click it again and it'll slow down. So we're, we're really doing a bunch of little animation tricks in here. Uh, so I'll show you how to do all those. And then lastly, we have a door that always works properly. So notice that I've walked away from the door trigger and it didn't speed up to, to catch up. Okay, so no matter how we do this, uh, we're going to use the state machine to really control and fine-tune our door. Uh, to do what we want. All right, so uh, a bunch of very simple examples that's going to walk you through a bunch of really nice ways to manage your triggering of animations. All right, so uh, so let's go ahead and get started.